Hey everybody, welcome back. We are talking about creating your homepage in this video, but just really quickly, the last video when we talked about setting up all of your settings, I just wanna remind you that at the bottom of your settings page, so you go to settings here at the bottom, it's usually typically at the bottom, go to course details, and when you're setting all of this up like I talked about in the last video, make sure you click at the bottom, update course details. Otherwise, it will not save. And hopefully you saw that button at the bottom, but make sure you click the update so it saves. So here we are, we are creating your home page. This is the first page that the students see when they log on and also what you see when you log on as well. Now, the easiest thing to do is to create a page. So go to the tab on your left, whatever your Canvas shell, it might be somewhere different if you've moved the tabs and bars around already. Click on pages. Okay, and you're gonna create, you're gonna add a page. On the top right hand corner, there's that button. Click add page. And we're gonna create the page in here first. Before I do that, I wanna show you some examples. Here are a couple of examples for you. So for example, here is the home page from an introduction to theater class that I taught online. Um, this was winter 2019. This is what the home page, what my home pages look like. Now you can do yours however you want, but for example, note, because we set this up in the settings, I have the three most recent announcements at the top so the students see them as soon as they log on. Okay, this, so these are the announcements that I had already created. So we did that in the settings already. I like to put some type of picture or photo at the very top and then in this one, I had put links to my YouTube. I had done a description of my name, my website, how they can email contact me if needed. And then in this one, I did tabs for everything. Now, don't freak out. I, I, I only do this for intro to theater, but it's not a big deal. It's just a way to do it. And all of these hyperlink to the page I want them to go to. Now, don't worry. I'm just showing you some examples. Here's another example. This is the home page of my um, class, my history of musical theater class that I'm actually teaching right now that was face-to-face -face, that's now online. Again, you have the top three announcements. I put the logo of the school. I put a breakdown, a little paragraph or two. And then I put a couple of videos about the school or about a video that I have on my YouTube page. Okay, another option you have, um, here is one of my classes that I'm teaching right now. That's a, this is my musical theater performance class. This is um, MT1 class, no, it's my MT2 class that I'm teaching that's going to online as well. I already used Canvas for some of these classes for the basics, so it was simple. This was just a little paragraph, a little video, and a link to my website if they want to know more about me but it's just a basic beginning page. Keep this simple, but you want something on here. So there are some examples. Okay, so let's go back to creating our page. So again, we clicked page, we clicked add page. Now here's how you're gonna create it. Here are some options for you. Keep it simple, but I like to do welcome, or you can see I've done welcome to musical theater techniques, or just welcome. I'm gonna put a title in there, welcome. Remember, less is more, more photos, more videos, simple text, not major paragraphs. So let's make one together. We did a title, and now I am going to pull the image from my school. So let's just say that I'm going to go to Google here, okay, online, and I'm going to do, um, uh, uh, let's do um, UCI um, uh, logo. Uh, and let's just look one up, okay? So basic logo here, okay? University of California, this is perfect, okay? Sweet, this is it, okay? I'm literally just going to drag and drop, okay? So I'm gonna scooch this over, I'm gonna drag and drop this on my desktop, okay? Move this back over here so you can see it, okay? And then I'm gonna go back to the page that I was working on, okay? Now I wanna put that photo in here. So here's how you put a photo in your homepage. Insert uh, that here files and images on the right. So I want to upload an image. Click on the image. I want to upload a new image. Click that. 
course file, I've dragged it to my desktop, or if you have it saved anywhere, your school logo or whatnot. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to my desktop where I dragged it to, and there it is, I just, boom, done. Easy, cheesy. Alternative text is going to pop up. This is for those students that are using readers that are um, blind, so I would put school logo or UCI logo. Okay, and then I wanna click upload. Give it a second, it's gonna upload and pop it in right up here at the top. Boom, simple, easy. Click enter. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to center this text and I'm going to say, welcome to musical theater techniques. Uh, this is, well, this would technically be winter, whatever quarter you're in or semester you're in. Winter 2020, um, Professor Ashley Espinosa, write your name in here, write any other information you want in here. Um, say you want to put in a YouTube video for your school. Okay, or you can go over here and you can click insert media and then you can embed a YouTube link. So go to YouTube, find the video you want, copy the link from the browser and pop it in here. Okay, so I literally have tons of things uploading, but let me go to YouTube here. So I'm going to go to YouTube. I'm going to pull a video. Let's say I want Claire Trevor School of the School of the Arts. I want to pull a video up from my school. Okay, say I want this one. Boom. Okay, great. This is perfect. Sweet. Done. Okay, that's the video I want to do. Go up here, highlight it, edit, copy that link go back to where you are at, the source, edit, paste it in there, click OK. The video will pop up straight from YouTube. Keep this in mind because as we go through, I'm gonna explain this and repeat this over and over again. You want to embed everything. Everything needs to be via YouTube because it adds the closed captions and is accessible to everyone, okay? So also you don't have enough um, amount of time in Canvas to upload everything and put it right inside of it. You want to link it to YouTube so it's accessible and so it's not holding and reserving all of this content actually within your module because you only get so much space. Okay, so link it to YouTube. Any videos you want here, just keep it simple. But again, you just want a basic, basic page. Now, you cannot do fancy things in Canvas. You can change the text. Say you want this to be bold. You can click bold. You can underline it. You cannot change the font or the colors. And you don't want to because those folks that need accessibility, it's going to have a reader that's going to be able to read it out loud to them. So you want it to be simple and accessible, all right? So I've got a logo. I've got some basic information. I could give a paragraph here. Looking forward to our time together online. Yay. Make it fun. If you want to pop a couple pictures of you in here, if you want to pop a headshot picture of you in here as well, that might be kind of fun. All you have to do is find where you want to put it. Say I want to put it right there and I want to center it. Easiest way though, find where you want to put it. Say I want to put it here. Click on it. Go over here. Click Images upload a new file and pick it from wherever you want. Okay, so say I want to put a picture of like my face on here or something. Okay, I'm going to go to where I have mine saved. So I, here's a picture of me that I pulled up from my photos. I'm going to click open. I'm going to upload that file. Ashley's picture. Okay, I'm going to upload it. And my face is going to be on here as well if you want that. Again, totally up to you. What I will tell you is that students want to see your face and they want to have communication with you. I have many students that say it was so great to see your face everywhere. Okay, again, it's not about you, but you wanna make it about the students getting to know you. This picture is really super big right now. I wanna make it smaller. So I clicked on it, it highlights it, and now I'm gonna make it small just by dragging it much, much, much smaller because they don't need to see my face that big. Okay, there's a picture of me, all right? 
So some text, some image, some logos, you can put a video in there, right? Um, I don't wanna click notify that it's changed and I don't wanna click add to, to student to do, all right? Now, after you have what you want in here, if you wanna see what it looks like, and so you don't lose that, you wanna to go to the right, click the blue button that says save. Don't click save and publish right now because you don't wanna publish anything yet. Click save. Once you click save, it will load in and you will see what it looks like. This is so wonderful. This is the page that I created. Welcome, UC Irvine Musical Theater. Here's my face. Here's a video of Claire Trevor. It's something. Just put something up here. Before you leave pages, okay, you've saved that page. It's here. Go back to view all pages, okay, and this is where your pages are going to start to be listed as you create them, all right? You need to go ahead and publish this page so that you can make it the home page. So publish it, click the check, it'll turn green, the check mark. Click on the little hamburger three dot and click use as front page. Click on that. It'll say front page next to it. Go back to the home page. Go to the right side, choose home page tab on the right. Click on that. Once you click on that, it should pop up here, pages front page, the welcome page. Click on that, click save the blue button, and now, if all goes well, your home page is that page we just created. Boom. Yeah. If I want to click the student view to see what it looks like, I would click student, and there it is all in its wondrous. And look, they can click on this video and it loads right in Canvas, which is so awesome. They don't have to click in and out. I will say this multiple times. You do not want them clicking in and out of Canvas. Keep them inside of Canvas. So that is your homepage tutorial. I'll see you at the next one. Okay.